Hello everyone, our today's topic is testes. Testes, the principal organ of male genital system. Now we have to know the accessory organs of male genital system. And there are some accessory gland named prostate and bulbo urethral gland. And there are some genital duct named vas deferens, seminal vesicle and ejaculatory duct. All are the organs of internal genital system. And there are some external organ of genital system. They are scrotum and penis. Now our today's topic testes we have to know the parts of testes and anatomical points of testes before knowing the anatomical points of testes we uh, have to see the uh, parts of testes the testes is ellipsoid in shape and uh, it has two end upper end and lower end and anterior border posterior border medial surface lateral surface and this is testes suspended by spermatic cord which is a tubular sheath containing vas deferens and other neurovascular organs that supplies the testes <coughs> now come to the site determination the site determinating organ of uh, site determinating principle of testes is uh, the sinus of epididymis and this is the sinus of epididymis which is formed by vaginal sac of epididymis and and we have to show this sinus of epididymis is posterior laterally. So in anatomical position, the sinus of epididymis lies in posterior laterally. So if we want to uh, hold this organ in anatomical position, then uh, we have to hold this sinus of epididymis posterior laterally and the curved anterior border anteriorly. And the posterior border is flat and the spermatic cord attaches to the posterior border. So now, the in anatomical points this is right testis in anatomical points we can say the sinus of epididymis lies posterior laterally and the anterior border is convex anteriorly and the posterior border attached with uh, spermatic cord this is all about anatomical points now come to the measurements of testis the length of the testis in adult male is 5 cm and the wide of the testis in adult male is 2.5 cm and the anterior posterior thickness of the testis is 3 cm. Now this upper end of testis is attached with epididymis and epididymis is a comma shaped organ which attached to the posterior border of the testis. And the posterior border is flat and which is uh, related with uh, in upper part testis and in lower part uh, upper part with spermatic cord and in lower part with epididymis this is all about the uh, parts of testis now come to the uh, structure of testis the figure describes the histological structure of testis in histological structure we see the three layers of testis the um, outside inward uh, visceral layer of um, visceral layer of uh, tunica vaginalis, then tunica albuginea. From tunica albuginea, various septa protrudes into the interior of the testis and divides in uh, lobules of testis. These are the uh, uh, this is a lobule of testis. Each lobule contains some seminiferous tubule. Uh, in number, this is one to four seminiferous tubule. And, and between the lobules, there are interstitial cells of Leydig. And this is the interstitial cell of Leydig. And this is a seminiferous tubule. And each seminiferous tubule is internally lined by uh, Sartoli cell. Um, Sartoli cell really closely related with the um, basal lamina of uh, seminiferous tubules. <coughs> So each Sartoli cells are uh, connected from the Sartoli cell of, uh, of each of both sides by a tight junction and form the blood testis barrier. But the blood testis barrier is important for uh, mature spermatozoa as uh, the spermatozoa produces, it starts to produce in uh, adult male in from from adulthood <coughs> so from birth it is not appear in uh, males so spermatozoa is a, a is detected as a antigen by blood so this blood testis barrier uh, separates the spermatozoa from blood if this blood testis barrier is dissolved then the azospermia or infertility on in male is developed as the, their autoimmune antibody now come to the epididymis 
And epididymis is a comma-shaped organ. Uh, epididymis is a comma-shaped organ which is closely related, related with the testes. And the head of the epididymis contains a um, uh, 12 to 20 efferent ductules that arises from the upper end of reti testes. And reti testes is a, um, a closed network of vessels, closed network of vessels uh, in mediastinum testes. 12 to 20 effine ductules arises from the upper end of the reti testis enter into the head of the epididymis. Each ductules form a comma-shaped coiled mass, a lobule of the epididymis. And these ductules are united to form the canal of the epididymis. And the canal of the epididymis is continuous as vas deferens. This is a cross-section of seminiferous tubule. In cross-section of seminiferous tubule, it is uh, surrounded by a cluster of uh, interstitial cells of Leydig. Now come to the uh, function of interstitial cells of Leydig. Interstitial cells of Leydig secrete testosterone in response to luteinizing hormone. And luteinizing hormone came from the pituitary glands. And in the uh, inner portion of the seminiferous tubule, it is uh, lined by Sartoli cell. It is connected by uh, tight junction. And this is the blood test is barrier. And uh, in uh, inner line it is lined by spermatogenic cell and spermatogenic cell are uh, various stage of development uh, it has uh, three layers we can consider it three layer uh, outer layer intermediate layer and uh, inner layer the outer layer is uh, consist of outer layer is uh, consist of spermatogonia and these are the spermatogonia then the intermediate layer consists of uh, two layers of uh, primary spermatocyte and uh, the uh, inner layer is uh, consist of uh, Spermatid and the lumen of the seminiferous tubule contains mature uh, spermatozoa. Now come to the uh, function of Sartoli cell. Each Sartoli cell are uh, supportive cell of uh, testes. Uh, it has uh, two types of support: physical support and um, uh, support from blood, immunological support. Physical support from the physical support and the um, seminiferous the Sartoli cells are supported the spermatogenic cell and the immuno it also uh, protect the newly formed spermatozoa from immunological attack and it also provide the nutrition of uh, it also provide the nutrition to the spermatogenic cell as there is no blood supply into the interior of the um, seminiferous tubules and it also has phagocytic activity uh, it also has phagocytic activity for the residuals of uh, spermatozoa um, during uh, spermiogenesis and it also acts as blood testis barrier now come to the uh, blood supply of testis and testis is supplied by testicular artery and uh, testicular artery is branch of abdominal aorta and the venous drainage of uh, uh, testis also uh, ex has accessory supply it also supplied by uh, partly uh, uh, artery to the vas deferens and cremasteric Venous drainage of testis is very important for examination and uh, in venous drainage it is by pampiniform plexus of uh, vein which is formed by 15 to 20 veins arises from the posterior part of the testis and epididymis and 15 to 20, uh, 20 veins uh, form the pampiniform plexus in the spermatic cord and when it uh, passes through the superficial inguinal ring it unites to form four veins and in deep inguinal ring it unites to form two veins and from the, um, the after the deep inguinal ring it um, unites to form the testicular vein and we have to know the drainage of testicular vein we know the left testicular vein is uh, drains into left renal vein and the right testicular vein is directly drained into the inferior vena cava. Now come to the development of testis. Each testis develops from a gonadal ridge of uh, intermediate mesoderm. As we know, the intermediate mesoderm uh, forms the deriv derivatives of urogenital system. So each testis develops from uh, intermediate mesoderm. And the uh, specific development of testis The lumens of testis are formed by uh, canalization of sex cord, like seminiferous tubules are from canalization of sex cord, uh, uh, canal of epididymis also from uh, canalization of sex cord, and uh, development of cells. The interstitial cells of Leydig are uh, developed from mesenchyme of gonadal ridge, and uh, the spermatogenic cells are appear from endoderm of yolk sac, and the Sartoli cells are developed from silomic epithelium, and uh, the genital 
and now genital ducts. Genital ducts are developed from um, mesonephric ducts. This is all about the development of testes. And now we have to uh, know about the descent of the testes. We know the testes is developed in uh, posterior abdominal wall. Uh, the, uh, then it uh, connected with the gibernaculum testis which connects the upper border of the testis with the scrotum then uh, de descent of testis is uh, starts descent of testis is starts from form uh, from uh, fourth month of intrauterine life in fourth month it descend into in uh, iliac fossa in the seventh month it reaches into deep inguinal ring and it passes through the inguinal canal in eighth month and finally uh, just before birth it now, what are the factors of descent of testes? Uh, the, mm, the cause of descent of testes is, is still unknown. But conjointly, mm, uh, the following factors are uh, considered responsible for descent of testes. They are gibernaculum testes. The gibernaculum testes is a fibromuscular band which, uh, which connects the upper border of testes with uh, the scrotum. And this is the guiding force of, uh, of descent. And intra-abdominal pressure, intra-abdominal pressure uh, produces the testes uh, to descend into scrotum. The intra-abdominal temperature, this is very important for examination. Uh, the scrotal temperature is about 4 degrees Celsius lower than the temperature, body temperature. Uh, we have to know the uh, optimum temperature of spermatogenesis is 4 degree lower than the uh, body temperature. So if the um, testes is situated into the um, body cavity or in uh, within the body then uh, it is harmful for um, spermatogenesis then infertility develops so the test is descent due to uh, body temperature and uh, why test is uh, how test is maintain their temperature within the scrotum three mechanisms are responsible for this number one current current counter current heat exchange between testicular artery and pampiniform flexures of veins then uh, we know the scrotum is lack of subcutaneous fat and uh, the another thing is the surface cooling mechanism by evaporation of sweat. The uh, and the another factor uh, responsible for descent of testes is arched fiber of internal oblique muscle and the another factor is uncurling of fetal curve and uh, the another factor is internal secretion of fetal testes. Now come to the developmental anomalies and clinical anatomies about the testes. We know that this test is descent from posterior abdominal wall into the scrotum. If the descent is failure, then uh, some condition appear. Now uh, one condition is anarchism. The, it is characterized by it is characterized by uh, one testis in the scrotum and no testis in the scrotum. A monarchism. It is characterized by one testis in the uh, characterized by one testis in scrotum. The another mm, uh, term is ectopic testis. Ectopic mm, testis is ectopic testis is characterized by the testis leaves the uh, abdomen but does not reach the scrotum and uh, it is uh, seizes the uh, descent in the pathway of descent of the mm, testis. The now mm, another. Uh, term is partially descended testis. Testis may be arrested in the deep inguinal ring. This is known as partially descended testis. Another term is completely patent possessus vaginalis. The possessus vaginalis is a peritoneal pouch which come along the uh, gubernaculum testis. And the patent possessus vaginalis form the congenital um, inguinal hernia. The another term is ancestate hydrocele of spermatic cord. If when the processes basically is patent after adult life, the uh, condition developed as encysted hydrocele of the spermatic cord. Now another term is hydrocele and varicocele. The, we know the two uh, outer intrinsic layer, outer in intrinsic layer of covering of testis is mm, visceral layer of tunica, vagi uh, tun tunica vaginalis, and the inner covering of a scrotum is a parietal layer of tunica vaginalis. Between these two layer, any accumulation of fluid is known as hydrocele of testis. And another term is varicocele. It is engorgement of pampaniform plexus within the spermatic cord. It is known as uh, varicocele. And uh, this portion uh, which suspends the testis is called the 
uh, spermatic cord and this is a cord like structure covered by a fibrous sheath which contains some uh, vital structures and the, what are the contents of a spermatic cord and this is the main content of a spermatic cord which is vas deferens which formed by continuation of uh, canal of epididymis and the another contents of uh, spermatic cord are is uh, spermatic cords are some uh, arteries the main right uh, corresponding testicular arteries artery to the vas deferens and premeseteric arteries and the pampiniform plexus of nerve and the lymphatic uh, pampiniform plexus of vein and the um, testicular plexus of nerve which are arises from uh, 10th and 11th 10, 10, 11 segment of thoracic spinal cord segment and uh, from this session we uh, also know that the um, testis has only sympathetic supply uh, in a nerve supply it is no parasympathetic supply and sympathetic supply is supplied by 10, 10, 11 segment of uh, spinal cord and some lymphatics which are uh, supply uh, which supplies the um, testis and uh, some fat and fibro fatty tissue and uh, sometimes the um, processes vaginalis this is all about the testes. If have, you have any inquiry about testes or any questions about testes, then uh, you have to um, post it in. Uh, you have to post our um, Facebook group or in comment section. Uh, thanks, everyone.